something is killing the bees, that much is certain. Britain has seen a 17% decline in the bee population over the last year. In the United States, it's around 30%. It's been dubbed colony collapse disorder. Experts say possible culprits are a pest called varroa, pesticides, climate change and loss of habitat. Now, some say, add to that the possible radiation from mobile phones. New research from scientists at Punjab University in India claims microwave radiation from mobile phones could be part of the problem. Researchers fitted mobile phones to a hive and powered them up for two 15-minute periods each day. After three months, they found the bees stopped producing honey, egg production by the queen bee halved, and the size of the hive dramatically reduced. I spoke to an independent scientist in the UK about how the bees might have been affected. He pointed out that bees have a pigment called cryptochrome. Animals, including insects, use cryptochrome for navigation. They use it to sense the direction of the Earth's magnetic field. And its ability to do this is compromised by the radiation from mobile phones and their base stations. So basically, bees do not find their way back to the hive. Dr Goldsworthy has written to the UK communications regulator Ofcom suggesting they change the phone frequencies so bees won't be confused. It is possible to modify the signal uh, coming from the mobile phone and the base station in such a way that it doesn't produce the frequencies that disturb the cryptochrome molecule. So. Uh, they could do this without the signal losing its ability to transmit information. Ofcom has passed the details on to the mobile phone companies. We spoke to the Mobile Phone Operators Association. They responded. Research scientists have already considered possible factors involved in colony collapse disorder and have identified the areas for research into the causes of CCD, which does not include exposure to radio waves. And expert bee scientists are sceptical. We know they're sensitive to magnetic fields. What we don't know is what use they actually make of that. And nobody has as yet actually demonstrated that honeybees make use of the Earth's magnetic field when navigating. But why does the future of the humble bee matter? So this is honey that's been sealed over. Yeah. And this is fresh honey or possibly nectar. Flowering plants need insects for pollination. Insects like the honeybee. The honeybee is one of the most effective and it pollinates around 90 commercial crops worldwide. The commercial value of bees pollination estimated here in the UK at $290 million, while in the USA it's currently estimated at around about $12 billion per year. Imagine a world without bees, a loss of orchards or meadows and flowering plants no honey. The reality? No one knows exactly why the bees are dying, but one thing is certain. Bees matter. Sasha Herriman, CNN, Sussex.